everyone, I thought I would pop in and do a quick Facebook Live to give you a sneak peek of some of the lovely new Chapter One dies I'm going to be bringing to Create and Craft on Monday and Tuesday. So that's Monday the 24th and Tuesday the 25th. On Monday, my show is at 6 p.m. Tuesday, I'm on at 8.15, 3 p.m. and 6 p.m. So I hope you can join me. And I thought I'd just give you a quick look at some of the finished samples. I'm not going to show you everything that's on the show because uh, I don't want to spoil the surprise. But I thought I'd show you some of the lovely new die sets that we've got. So first up, we're going to have a look at this is Tea Time. And it's a lovely set that has this lovely teacup with florals. Um, obviously, you can make this as big as you like because you could have the florals really cascading out if you wanted a, a bigger project um, but I thought this would be lovely for home decor so I popped one in a frame but equally it's just as lovely on a card and you can see here I've just popped it on a circle nesting die um, and it's a lovely lovely die set I think that's probably my favourite uh, there's also an embossing folder on here that's another favourite of mine um, next up We've got something perfect for Valentine's Day. We've got this lovely floral heart. Now this is um, one of our impresslet dies where you've got the embossing folder with the die in it so that it cuts the outline as well as embosses. And it gives you this beautiful heart. So you've got this lovely heart um, and it's a lovely detailed outline with all these lovely florals embossed on it. So perfect for Valentine's Day if you go for that kind of look. Um, you can also see here an embossing folder that we've got on the show. I'll show you that in a second. Um, but we've got a lovely heart embossing folder, which goes really well with it. But it doesn't have to just be for Valentine's because you can see here, I've used three of the hearts in some nice blues and greens um, for a birthday card. So definitely one that you can use all year round. Um, you know, hearts are quite universal really. So um, I'm really liking that one. So that's the floral heart. Let's show you the two embossing folders actually. I'll show you the heart one first. It's probably a bit difficult to see with um, this stripy background I've got going on and I'm gonna show you how to do this on the show. Um, but this is quite a modern design, I think, and quite a subtle heart design. Again, doesn't have to be for Valentine's because it's, it's just a really nice heart design, could be used for anything weddings anniversaries as well so um i really like that one and you'll also see a sneak peek here of a, a sentiment set we've got on the show which has got this lovely quite delicate script font um covers lots of occasions not just uh valentine's you've got mother's day father's day um you've even got thanksgiving christmas all sorts in that set so it's it's definitely a, a handy set to have all year so that's the heart embossing folder. Then this is my favourite, the lacy it's called. And it's a beautiful, um, beautiful sort of floral design. So works really well with spring and Valentine's and all the other things we've got on the show. Um, but what I particularly like about this is the detail of it. And it, it really blows my mind actually, the detail on these 3G embossing folders, because this is really quite a, it, it's a deep impression, but it's really rounded as well. And when you run your finger over it, you can, it's really, um, the depth in it is is quite, quite immense actually. So I'm really loving this one. I've put some gold gilding wax on, on for this one so you can really see the design quite well. But of course, as with all our embossing folders, especially the 3D ones, they're great for doing effects with. This one, I've kept it really simple, just embossed it in white because I wanted the focus to be on these flowers. These are from the teacup set. So they look really nice just in that little window. But you can see here, I've gone gone for a bit of a embossed um, sort of inky background and I've matched up the pattern to pop a strip on. To I, The sentiment got a bit lost with all of that. So I, I wanted a plain strip for the sentiment to show. And then this one, I've added some silver acrylic paint and then gone over with a brayer with some blue. So again, I'm going to show you all this on the show. So that's the lacy embossing folder. Next up is, this is lovely, this bicycle set. It's This set is a stamp and a die set combination. So you've got dies to make this 3D flower and then you've got the dies that cut out your stamped image so you haven't got a fussy cut it. Then you've got all the stamps to, to create your lovely bicycle with these flower wheels. Really lovely. I've gone for a bit of a shabby chic look 
after this one because I just felt that the florals worked for that. Um, I really love the 3D flower on this set. So that's the first one I've made with that. But of course, you don't have to use all of it at once. You can just pick out. And for this one, I just stamped the bicycle and did a bit of messy watercolour. The flower on this is, is also beautiful just on its own. So for this card, I've used that lovely lacy embossing folder background. These foliage in the background, this is from the, the tea time set because you've got that big spray of foliage that, that perfectly fits on the teacup, but that looks fabulous on its own. So I've then just popped one of those 3D flowers on top. So that's the bicycle set. Um, I'm just gonna show you a couple more. I'm not gonna show you everything. So then we've got, um, again, you'll see that sentiment set, but this is a set that creates lovely labels. This is also one of those embossing folders that cuts. And you've got three different designs in this set that create different um, kind of labels to go on. Great for notebooks and journals um, because you can pop, you know, someone's initials on there. And then you've got another couple of designs. I haven't got all three made up, actually, but this is another one. This gives you a bit more room for a name or a sentiment. So um, and you can put this either way around, really. I've got that sort of cascading down, but equally you could have the flower at the bottom. So really really useful set that one and then just two more I'll show you this is the flower with envelope set great for valentines and actually I did see Josh did a lovely valentines card with this set so this one um, you get the lovely little envelope and then a spray of florals these are all individual dies so you could use them any way you want to and of course you could use these on other cards you don't have to use them with the envelope so that's the flowers with envelopes and then last up, we've got this lovely floral border that actually cuts directly into the card front. So this enables you to create quite a flat design, actually. And then just you can just use your pokey tool to just lift out some of the, the petals and leaves to give a bit of a 3D effect. You can also layer up florals on top to build more colour. But I've kept this one quite simple. So that's the last one I'm going to show you. So don't forget, I'm on Monday and Tuesday on Create and Craft and there are lots of other things on the show. So I hope you're going to join me there. See you then.